I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will see how to calculate NET's future value using this formula. So that's the whole concept. So how to calculate the future value of each annuity? So we'll take a few examples and then try to understand how to apply the formula basically, right? So one of the important parameters is R, which we say regular payment. So R is regular payment. Now, in any question of annuity, this will be always done at regular intervals of time. So it will be in dollars, pay regularly at the end of the payment. Re regular payment made at the end of compounding period. Okay, this is important, at the end of compounding period, right? And I, as such, is the interest, which is a compound interest, which is a compound interest, applicable for the compounding period. Now this is important to understand. Normally you are given rate, you are given rate which is uh, interest per annum. Correct? Normally you are given rate which is interest per annum, not interest applicable for the compounding period. So these two are different things, right? N is number of times the amount has been this is the compounding periods, right? So this is N is the number of compounding terms or compounding periods, right? Normally, you are given capital N, which is, which is number of years. Not really. The number of compounding periods. So these are related terms. So what you find normally is these two are related and then these are related. So when we are trying to apply this formula, we have to understand this portion. That is kind of very important, right? So based on this, I will take some examples, right? Now, and then we can do the calculation. Okay, so Okay, so what I'll do is, I'll just take some examples. So, okay, so let me write down R, regular payments. That is the column of regular payments, which is going to be done at regular intervals of time. And then we'll have, uh, so not normally regular payments will be given and then you'll be given the interest rate. So we'll write R, the interest rate. These two things, and then we'll give time period T. So time period will be number of years, so I'll write N, the number of years. So we'll begin with these three values, okay. And then we'll find what others should be based on the compounding period. So let's take R as, so the R will be in dollars, so let's hundred dollars and the rate of interest be, let's say, 4.8 percent. Now, this percent will be per annum, so you'll see A written there. And let us say this is being done for number of years is, let us say, uh, 10 years. Okay, so 10 years. Now, important term here is, what is the compounding period? So, let me write compounding period term as such. So, that is right. So compounding period could be monthly, could be let's say monthly. Monthly means in one year, 12 times you are going to deposit $100 and 12 times you will get the interest on it, right? So that is what it means. 
Uh, now, okay. So if I say that the compounding period is monthly, in that case, the interest I, now these are the values which we want to calculate, right? So we want to calculate I, the interest. This interest is for a period of whole year. If compounded monthly, it has to be divided by 12. So we write this as 0 0.048 divided by 12. You get an idea. Correct? So that is for this compounding period of one month, right? And then the other thing which we need to find is n. So what is the small n? Number of compounding periods. So there are 10 years and every month you are getting that amount interest compounded. So it is 10 times 12. You get an idea. So that is the value of n. So once you get all this, then you can apply the formula and calculate the value. Correct? So, so what we have here is, so when you divide this by 12, 12 times 4, you get this is equals to 0 0.004, right? So you can use calculator, okay. Let's use, so 0 0.048 divided by 12 equals to, in decimals. Okay, so that gives me 10 to the power minus 3. So that means 1, 2, 3 decimal places, that's what you get. And 10 times 12 is 120, correct? So you get the values required, R is the same amount. So when you want to calculate the future value, let me write down future value here. Then the future value, applying this formula is equal to 100, which is R, within brackets, 1 plus I, which is 0 0.004 to the power of N, which is 120, okay, minus 1, bracket closed, divided by interest which is i 0 0.004 you get an idea so that is how the formula has to be applied and now you can use the calculator to calculate this answer 100 two brackets right these two brackets now 1 plus 0 0.004 bracket close to the power of 120 then you have to take away 1 bracket close divided by 0 0.004 and equal to and you get a value write it down 15363 now you have 0.19 so when you are talking about money go up to cents so round it to two decimal places so it could be written as 20 cents so that is the future value for depositing $100 at the end of every month for 10 years at an account which gives you 4.8% interest compounded annually. You get an idea, right? So that is the scenario. I hope this is absolutely clear, right? Okay, so we'll take one more example. Okay, so this is done. So we'll take one more example. Now let's say it doesn't matter, you can amount any amount you can write. Let's say $200 and let's say this interest rate is 4%. Okay. And uh, we say, let's say, let's say five years. Okay. And we do semi annually. So semi annually means twice in a year. So what will be I? I will be, this has to be divided by two. So it is. 0 0.04 divided by 2 which is giving us 0 0.02 it is semi annually n 5 years twice in a year so 5 times 2 which is 10 and future value will be 200 right within brackets 1 plus 0 0.02 to the power of 10 minus 1 divided by I, which is 0 0.02. Then use calculator and find the answer. I hope that is clear, right? Very good. One more. The last one here. So we can take some other amount. Let me make this 500. And rate of interest, I'm taking simple values. 5, I should write per annum. 
per annum. Okay, compounded annually at the rate of interest of 5.2 percent, and we'll take this weekly. Weekly means 52 times. Oh, okay, I have to write weekly here. Okay, so weekly, and let us say 12, 12 years. Fine. So when I say weekly, 52 times. So in that case, I value will be 0 0.052 divided by 52. A number of times it gets compounded, 52 times per year, so 12 times 52. Is it okay? Let's calculate these values. Hmm? 0 0.052 divided by 52. Purposely, I've taken this nice value, 0 0.001, and here we have 12 times 52, which is 624. And so the formula will be, what is R for us? 500, right? 500, and I can add 1 to 0 0.001 to the power of 624, okay, minus 1, divided by 0 0.001. Correct. Use your calculator, round answers to the nearest cent, and write down your answer. Right. I hope that explains the concept, how to apply this formula and get the future value of annuities. I'm Anil Kumar. You can share and subscribe my videos. Try to do at least 10 questions from this unit to understand the whole concept. And then we'll look into present value. Thank you and all the best.